Okay, so this is 99 number 2. It says after 10 years, only 500 remain. So I just wrote them in or, uh, as ordered pairs because I realized they didn't give me the starting value. And then it said after 20 years, there was 400, 400 remain. So if they decayed exponentially, what was their half-life? So we want to know when there was half of them left. We do know one thing. We know um, amount at time t equals the initial amount times e to the kt. We know that. We'd like to know, so I'll give you a little hint for half-life. No matter what the initial amount was, it doesn't even matter what it was because you're going to put half of it over here, right? Mm -hmm. Like say you started out with 100, yeah. well it's half-life going to be when there's 50. And then when you end up trying to solve the equation, you divide both sides by the bigger number, you always get 0.5 over there. <laughs> so really you can just kind of do this. 0.5 equals e to the kt. You can do that. So that might help a little bit. And then um, we certainly don't know what k is. And we would like to know what t is. So we basically have two unknowns. So we could um, just do the problem twice, you know, we could plug in, um, oh wait, that doesn't even help, does it? Oh, what are we going to do? <laughs> um, we could do a system of equations, I guess, if we wanted to. Can we do a system of equations? Let's try, let's try this. Um, amount at time t, so we know this is the time and this is the amount. Like the x number is the time and the y number is the amount. So we can say that there was 500. Um, we don't know what the initial amount was. Um, e to the k times t is 10. I'll just write it right there. And then we can also go over here. We can say 400 is equal to, let's see. And then we know these are the same also. Um, e to the 20k. We know that, so, and do you remember one time I told you that you could divide an equation by another equation? Yes. You, did you buy that, or did that seem like a bunch of hooey? Uh, seems like it could work. <laughs> seems like it could work. Yeah. You're allowed to. Right. So you don't, so, would you believe me if I if I just randomly felt like I wanted to divide both sides of this equation by 400? Would that be allowed as far as, you know, algebraically? Am I allowed to, if I feel like it, divide both sides by 400? It might not help, but would, it, would I be allowed to? Yeah. Can I divide both sides by 2? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because if you think about it, anything you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Yes! Yeah. So, what if I told you I felt like dividing both sides by 400? You'd say, well, that isn't going to help at all. But, well, but guess what? This thing is equal to 400. So when I divide the left-hand side by 400, I'll divide the right-hand side by something that's exactly equal to 400, and then that's this. What? You don't like that? Is that weird? It's weird to think about it that way. I'm, I'm allowed to. Yeah, you're allowed to. I'm allowed to. By the laws of Yes. So, and I never knew why. I just knew that you could divide um, one system by or one equation by another, and I never knew why. And you know how you can add them? That's because you're doing the same thing. You're adding the same thing to both sides of yes. the equation. So anyway, why is this going to help? I think it might help. Five fourths equals the a's canceled out, yes. and then I can use some laws of or some exponent rules. You know how you can go like 10k minus 20k because it's yeah, it's, it's yeah. It's so 10 long minus long. 20 that's negative 10k. Yeah. And then can I ever figure out what? Yes, I can ln, LN both, both sides. Both. So I can ln uh, fourth. I don't really even need to know what the initial amount was anyway, because like I said, I'm just going to use 0.5. So ln I hope this works. 5 fourths equals um, negative 10 and then you know, negative 10 divided by negative 10. Did we get, so I think k is going to be a negative, was it? Let's see, ln 5 divided by 4. That number divided by 10. Okay, yeah. So you got 
the negative, I don't know, point zero two two three one four blah blah blah, right? Okay, let's see if they got that in there. So that's number so then two. Then when we get that, where do we put our k? Well, now we can go over here because remember how I was saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then then we'll actually we're kind of almost done because we don't care what the initial amount was. We just know we want half of it to be left, so we can pretend we started with one, and then we had point five over here, and then you know it'll it'll work out. So e to the now k is in my oh I got to turn it negative. Um, K is in my calculator right now, yeah. so uh, hopefully I can re raise. Oh wait, what do I have to do? I have to ln both sides yeah. or something. Uh, okay, so ln of point five, and then ln e is going to give me um, k times t. Yeah. But I know what k is. I just don't want to write oh, it down. I, I it's, it's still <laughs> yeah. So um, divide by k, divide by k. So t is going to be ln 0.5 divided by your k that's in your calculator. So if I can somehow get my calculator to hold on to that number for me. Hmm. Let's see. ln 0.5 divided by... Hmm. Zero, two, two, three, I had to type it in because I messed up. Did you get like 31-ish? 31.06. Yeah, that's what they got too. Years. Is it years? Yes, years. Wow, that made me feel smart. Sometimes I feel clever.